welcome back. Today's video is going to be the finale for the 13 by Halloween project pan that I have been doing with some of my amazing YouTuber friends. We have Lisa Stevens, we have Kaylee Baute, Kelly Gooch, Love Heatherette, C Cosmetic Chaos, Courtney K, Too Much Tosh, Kitty Approved Beauty, and yours truly. So, ugh, I wish I could tell you I did like overly fantastic and I finished everything, but I didn't because I suck. But I did get some really, really good progress and a lot of things I did actually hit goal on and I cannot wait to show you. So if you guys are new and have come over from any of those girls' channels, welcome. I hope you decide to stick around. And if you are new to my channel in general, welcome. Thanks for hanging out. Love you. You should stay. You should. You should. So let's just dive right in because I have some candy to go eat. I'm like obsessed with this lip color today, but I'm so obsessed with making sure it's not on my freaking teeth. I don't wear reds very often because I'm paranoid about it getting on my teeth, but so far so good. We're gonna stick with it. Okay, so the first product that I had was a body spray Bath & Body Works. This is the Coconut Mango Fragrance Mist. When we started the project, it was way up here. And my goal originally was to get to the bottom of the label, which is right here. But to be honest with you, the fact that I was able to use this much of a scent I'm not really a huge fan of in general. In the fall, when it's a summer scent, I'm proud of it. So we ended up getting down to right there, which I still consider a win. I will probably continue to use this up. I'll throw it in the bathroom or something and use it as a poo spray. But I still got a ton of use on it that otherwise I would not have, so I'm content. The next product that I have I actually did use up, and this is by Perfectly Posh, the Big Fat Yummy Hand Cream. We started way up here. We got to here with the second update, and it is empty. So I love, love these body, body, hand creams. I have a bunch of backups of them. Unfortunately, this scent is discontinued, which is why I wanted to get it out of my collection. It was just a really pretty light mint and lavender scent, um, but the formula is fantastic, and I will repurchase more of these once I get through my stash. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. We started when it was way, way, way up here, and it is gone. And I'm kind of sad that it's gone. I took everything I could out of it, but I can't. Um, will I repurchase it? Probably not. I have a lot of other primers that I like better, but it was still actually really, really good. Okay, another product that I did use completely up. I don't have the packaging for it because I did throw it into my empties and already filmed my empties video. I know, huge bad on my part, bad YouTuber. But I did use up the Bare Minerals. It was like the Vital something, what was it called here? Um, I don't know, so I didn't write that down either. It was the serum, like the longevity serum or whatever, and I did use it completely up. In fact, I think I used it completely up in the last update. So if you really wanna see what I used up already, just go back one update. Um, the other thing that I did use completely up that I also do not have with me was the uh, Urban Decay Priming Spray. It was in a little green bottle. That was also completely used up. But let's move on to some things that I do have. Um, the next thing that I had was the Verb Ghost Oil. You guys know how much I expressed my dislike for this. But anyway, I didn't do the best on this. I tried. Um, I started way up here. This was the second update and I did actually get it down to right here. It looks like that's not a lot and there's not, but you don't need very much. Like you need a dot of this to go through your whole hair. So I'm gonna keep playing with this because I really, really wanna make it work somehow, but I don't know. It just wasn't a priority on my list because I didn't like the way it made me look. This one I actually used up thanks to my daughter. Um, this was the Chia Hair Smoothing Oil by Trisola, another one that I just do not like. This is a very silicone based primer, whereas the Verb Ghost Oil is a Moringa, so it's an actual oil that'll absorb in your hair. This is silicone. It just sits on top of it. So at the beginning of the project, it was up here, then it came down to here, and then now it is completely empty. So there is that guy. I totally just noticed that in every single one of my 13 by Halloween videos, I had different hair. Uh, I just noticed that each time it's like a completely different person. I'm sorry, you guys, but I thought it was funny. Let's talk about an eyeliner. This is the Ciate Wonder Wand in the shade just black or whatever. My goal on this was to hit the E in the word Ciate. E would have been like right here. So we did actually go pretty good. I actually think that I did a really good job because I don't tend to wear pencil liner. I have super, super sensitive water lines. Um, anything in my water line will make this particular eye this particular spot on my eye water incessantly. It will destroy all of my makeup. It's very often that when I do use something in my waterline, I will end the day with just nothing from here over because it waters down. And somehow, because I am anti-gravity or something, it waters up. And I find water up in the crease of my eye. It's actually starting to do it now, if you can look right here. There's a little bit of a water spot. That's, I don't know how it does it. My eye will water and it'll follow my crease up and end up on the top of my eye. I don't know. I don't know, you let me know. Does it happen to you? If it does, what is wrong with us? Either way, 
Long story short for saying that I successfully used 90% of this eyeliner. Another eyeliner that I did use up. I don't have the packaging for it, but I do have a second one of it. This is not the liner I used in this project. This is another eyeliner. That's the same to show you what it looks like. I did use up a full one of these. This was the ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade Get Paid. It's a really pretty coppery, like rose gold. I'll just swatch it because it's easier. Um, it's like a really pretty rose gold liner. This is one of the few liners that I can use in my waterline and it doesn't irritate it, but you can see the color right there. It's very pretty. Okay, this. <laughs> oh. This is the Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in the shade number 41. This has survived three project pans, almost a full year of constant use. So I got like a little bit of use, but you guys, if you had any idea how often I use this stupid thing, I don't even want to talk about it. It's driving me crazy. I, I'm going to declutter this, you guys, and I hate to do that because I really want the satisfaction of using up a lip product. It just, by the time I get this gone, I'm going to be so sick of it. Plus the color isn't even really my color. I don't wear pink. When do you guys see me wear pink on the lips? Ever. I don't. So this is the shade right here. It's just too bright for me. I know as it doesn't show up, you're like, that's not bright girl, but it is in person. Um, it's actually a very cool tone, brighter pink, and I prefer more of a mauve cool tone lip. I'm just going to get rid of it. I, I can't look at it anymore. It drives me absolutely crazy. So that was a fail on my part. I tried, but it was literally the unending lipstick. Let's talk success. Cause I have the three biggest products in this project, I think, with a success. So I'm really happy to end on a happy note because otherwise I would get super stressed out and hate myself. Um, let's talk about a highlighter. So this was the NYX Illuminator in the shade Ritualistic. And I had said that originally I had wanted to use up half of the pan, but I realized very early on that that was just absolutely unattainable no matter how much I wore it. So I decided that I wanted to get to side pan, which I am so freaking happy to announce has happened. I am thrilled. And not only that, but I've actually worn away the majority of this pan all the way around here. It's very, very thin, almost pan as it is. If you guys hear a train, I apologize. I have to work through it. I gotta get this done. So anyway, I included a swatch for you right here of this highlighter. It's so pretty, you guys. This is one of the few highlighters that I have that does not like accent any texture or pores. It's not what I'm wearing on my face today. It's similar, but it's not. Um, it's just a really beautiful, beautiful golden highlighter, and I like it a lot, but this, got goal. The other highlighter that I had in here, I know two highlighters in one project and I actually hit goal on both. I think that's a win. I think that that trumps everything that I couldn't finish off. This is by Long Calm and this is the dual finish highlighter in the shade Sparkling Pesh. I really love this highlighter. I love this range of highlighter and it was the same situation as with the next one. I just wanted to hit side pan and once again, ah, I did. But if you look really close, do you see just how thin this highlighter is? Like it is paper, paper thin. In fact, I could probably just like touch it and move the pan over. Yeah, see, it's so thin. Look at that though. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, yeah, this whole entire pan is like paper, paper thin because I've used it so much. And there it is right there in the center. So it's definitely a little more bright and bold than the NYX one, um, but it's got a really beautiful peachy hue to it. It is stunning. Um, I do have multiples of these. I have backups of the, the I almost said flavors. I have backups of the colors that I like. This is one of my favorite, favorite formulas of highlighter ever highly recommend checking them out, but I did end up succeeding. So I'm super, super happy about that. And last but not least, let's talk about the palette. So I did have a shade in here called Banana Date that I wanted to hit pan on. I did hit pan on it in the last update. Pretty good, actually a good pan. Um, I actually started using it even more after the fact. So I've extended the pan and I've also um, lowered the level of product throughout the rest of that half of the pan, if that makes sense. So if you look right here, I have extended the pan even further, but the dip in it is absolutely massive. Um, I use this to obviously set my eyelid primer, brow bone highlight, that kind of thing. I say overall, I'm pretty happy about my successes. Yeah, there were some that I could have worked a little bit harder on and could have easily hit goal if I tried, but there comes a point when you just call it. <laughs> but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I really hope you decide to stick around. Also, don't forget to check out all the girls that are included in this collab down in my description box below and give them some love as well and check out their progress. They probably did a hell of a lot better than me. But thank you guys. I love you so much and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.